I'll jump in here. My biggest loser, he wasn't actually a free agent, but I'm still lumping it in because all of the news was breaking at the same time. It's Stephon Diggs going to Buffalo. Go, Jason shakes his head. I have no idea. I, I, I can't fathom how you think that the, that he won. He's I, go, I mean, He's I, going from one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the league to Josh Allen, who is not. He Josh Allen will will never be one of the most accurate quarterbacks. I'm not saying he can't win, but I'm saying he he will never be one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the league. And you have your your I your see argument. no reason to bring Josh Allen into this. <laughs> He's, and you're like you're like you you are sad for Robbie Anderson because you're bringing up the market share for the other players. Meanwhile, Stephon Diggs goes to a team where two wide receivers had over twenty percent of the market share and. Like the, and the pie is just so small. When you take a pie, you shrink it down. You you mix in some real bad pieces of inaccuracy. Like Stephon Diggs is going to be. Really, what if they're a team really that wants sad. to win on defense too? Yeah, it's it's. Oh, you I, mean I have the team to, he I just to, left from? <laughs> I happen. Yeah, it, which he wasn't a great consistent fantasy option right. for. Yeah, because he had to split with another wide receiver one in Adam Thielen. And, yes, he, they had two wide receivers with 20% market share. Adam but Thielen you wasn't even every, there half the year. Every single team has 100% market share combined with everybody, right? There, there was nobody to throw the ball to. Those two little guys were it, so they each got 20%. Now they've got Stephon Diggs. I think he's going from one team that doesn't want to pass the ball a lot to another team that doesn't want to pass the ball a lot. And he's going from a, a more accurate to a to a less accurate quarterback. I will grant you that. But he's going from a one B to a one. He's he's going to be the guy there. They traded the world for him. He is going to be. Well, and he's a monstrously sized six foot one ninety too, compared to the other guys they have. <laughs> That's true. I mean, he's he's going to be looking down at those other wide receivers in there. It's he's just, never felt bigger in his look, life. I love I love Bills. I love Stephon Diggs. I don't see the pathway to greatness here. I'm I'm afraid I do not. I, I guess so the way that I see it, I don't necessarily look at Stefan Diggs as a huge fantasy winner. But I don't see him as a fantasy loser here. Oh. But I, I get the narrative. If you don't believe Josh Allen could get him the ball, but I don't think Josh Allen has had a wide receiver like this and he's coming into, you know, year three. Uh see I, John Brown is good. John Brown's maybe not as good as Stefan Diggs, but John Brown is a good wide receiver. And Josh Allen's adjusted completion percentage when throwing down the field was 28.4%. So that's giving him the benefit of the doubt if a wide receiver didn't catch a well, catchable I, I, pass. I told you not to bring Josh Allen into this <laughs> I, I'm situation. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> he jumped from 52 to 58% completion, Mike. So uh, that, that's true. Moving on up. Okay, That's true. I think it, there'll be consistency problems with Diggs. He'll clearly have his good games. He'll have his big plays. But I don't see a big difference myself in what he'll do on Buffalo than what he did on Minnesota, which was be a frustrating fantasy asset at times. Yep. And Jason's I, just got kind of curmudgeon faced and <laughs> disappointed and discouraged. Look, and John Brown was the wide receiver 20 last year, and is he's not in the same class as Stephon Diggs, and that was with Josh Allen. Josh Allen, another year, giving a much more – focused effort towards his wide receiver one than he gave towards John Brown. He can obviously support a wide receiver 20. How is that? I mean, Stefan Diggs Maybe. is a, a top 15 wide receiver next year. Like, no. Hmm? Like, I'll, John, I'll give John you, Brown I'll give is you not you disappearing. I'll give you 17, wide receiver 17. And if he's wide receiver 17, you're going to be disappointed. With where that, you draft him? That you drafted Stefan Diggs. Uh, Stefan Diggs was wide receiver 21 this year, just so you know. Yeah. So he's a fancy loser. He's oh. a fancy loser going from 21 to 17. Boom. We're talking, drop. We're, we're talking high end, the high end <laughs> range of outcome. Hey, what's up? Glad you're here. Glad you came. Glad you watched the video. You should check out the whole thing. The link is below.